In today's episode we are building 3D printed screw bump and oh boy this will be a good one. Spoiler alert this screw bump will work so well and looks really cool. Also we can see inside the bump because it's transparent and with the colored water we see how the water moves inside the bump. For a bonus we are going to test multiple screw designs. So in this video I explain how the bump works, how to build it and how it performs. So if you want to see all of that, stay tuned and let's get started. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. We are looking at a single screw screw bump, sometimes called an Archimedean screw bump. It's one of the oldest type of pumps and the idea is simple but clever. Imagine a big screw, like a spiral, fitted inside cylindrical casing. One end is placed to the water or fluid to be lifted and the other end is elevated above the water level. When the screw rotates, the spiral thread scopes up the fluid between the flights, the space between the screw ridges. As the screw turns, those trapped fuel pockets are carried up along the length of the screw. Because the screw is enclosed, the fluid cannot fall back, it moves upward with each rotation. When the water reaches to the top, the upper lead has volute outlet similar to centrifugal water pump. The bottom part of the water pump houses one bearing and is submerged turning to operation. It has multiple intakes around the bottom end of the screw. My design is fully 3D printable, except two bearings, one shaft and shaft seal. Top bearing holder, top end and bottom end will be printed with black PLA and to give it a little bit color, the prints have green decorations. Only cosmetical not necessary. The cylindrical housing can be 3D printed, but I decided to use acrylic tube for transparency. And the screw, this will also be 3D printed with PLA, but just looking at the model, the question is how exactly we are going to print this. In CAD you saw black and green color combination. Well those were not just to make 3D model look better, I'm actually going to print the bump this way. For this project I'm using Bambulab HDD, which has two nozzles making this type of task super easy. I usually would skip this type of multicolor prints and instead print them with single color because it just had so much time and waste. But with dual nozzle system, this is minimal. My left nozzle prints with black filament, that is my external spool. And the right nozzle is connected to the AMS to print green filament and super filament. I do have some filament changes because I have to switch from the green to support. But this happens only few layers during the whole print. Those models look cool, but those ones were not difficult models to print. The true challenge is the screw, the heart of this water pump. This model is basically one huge continuous overhang and there is no way to not use supports. I have printed screw bump before and even then around 3 years ago I also used dual nozzle system. Because this is the only way. Let me explain. If you print this model with single filament, the support will be near impossible to remove. Maybe it's doable for this model, but for the second screw we are also going to test in this video, it's impossible. So three years back I used GDTEC iFast, which ironically is extremely slow, and it took me three and a half days to print one screw. Also GDTEC printers have one flaw, when the filament is retracted the extruder jams, and I had a lot of failed prints. So that's why my screw bump is first project with my H2D, because it made it possible. I'm printing the screw with green PLA that is loaded to my left nozzle. Also the supports are printed with the same PLA, but the support interface aka the layers between the support and actual model is printed with support filament. This makes the removal of the supports easy and leave a beautiful surface finish. But the dual nozzle system made printing this screw fast and saved a lot of wasted filament. But you can print this with single nozzle also. For example, H2S that has only one nozzle would print this model with more than one day and created a severe amount of waste because of changing filament every layer. But after removing supports, the model looks excellent and surface quality where the supports attached to looks as good as it can be. Designing this screw bump took me a lot of time and if I can show this design to myself 6 years ago, I would not believe it's mine. I learned 3D printing, mechanical engineering and 3D modeling all by myself online. There is no better time to learn whatever you want on your phone or laptop. And Brilliant is an excellent tool to achieve your goals. Brilliant helps you to become a better thinker and problem solver. 
with thousands of visual interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. Brilliant is a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Instead of sitting in the class at early morning hours and listening morning lectures, Brilliant offers you a choice. When you want to learn, where you want to learn and how much per time. By hands-on problem solving that lets you play with the concept. A method proven to be six times more effective than listening or watching lectures. Those lessons are engineered by professional teachers, researchers, university professors and world top tech company geniuses to offer you the best and most effective way to learn. If you want to learn something, you don't need any previous knowledge. Like me right now. I always wanted to know how to write a code, program something like App or Mehatronics or even Arduino. Well, for me, I have absolutely zero knowledge about programming. Brilliant is super starting point. The exercise going harder step by step and you see the results what you are doing right away. With Brilliant, I am not just learning how to get some task done. I actually learn about the topic and understanding how it works and why. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash let's sprint or scan the QR code on the screen. And if you stay subscribed to Brilliant by using my link, you will get 20% off forever. So guys, good luck for learning. But now back to the water bump. Building this screw bump is super easy. First I had to do something that was not planned. This happened because I forget to add 0.2 mm clearance to the screw. I didn't want to print the whole model again because of this. So I just... So the actual building starts by adding some silicon glue to the top piece and glue them together. There was a little mistake, I should install the shaft seal and the bearing before, but not a big deal, I just made my life a little bit harder. I let the silicon dry for 24 hours and after this I just pushed the shaft through the shaft seal and the bearing, installed the bearing to the bottom end and connected this to the tube also and the water pump is completed. At first I planned to use 4mm threaded rods to hold it together, but the fit was so tight it held together pretty well by itself. So for now I skip this step. Just a quick reminder, we are testing two different screws in this video. Now the pump is ready and we are going to test this. To run this pump I just use power drill, because anything faster is not required for this type of pump. Screw pumps usually run at low RPMs and the maximum speed of the power drill is more than enough. But okay, let's do some testing. First I wanted to see if the bump even works and well this question got answered pretty quickly. And not only does it works, it works perfectly well. The transparency of the bump gives a really nice visualization of how the water moves inside there. It was a bit difficult to record but I did my best. Actually this water bump bottom doesn't have to be completely submerged. If I tilt the water bump, Interestingly, this works even better. Actually, it makes complete sense that it works better at angle than upright. The water is getting trapped between the treads and the inner wall and it cannot fall back. It's really cool to see how well this water pump works, but we are not done here. We have another screw to test. So the difference between those two is the amount of threads and the pitch of the threads. The pitch is slightly lower than the previous one. This means it's a bit less aggressive. And also it has two threads. The last one had one. This one is printed also with Pambulab HDD, but I use PLA as a support and the screw itself is printed with PTG. I'm not fan of using PTG, but I wanted to see how well does it work using PLA as a support for PTG or other way around. Long story short, it turned out nice. Also this is so cool how easy and fast is to perform a screw change. Yeah. 
This glue works too, like the previous one, but it's hard to say which one works better. Well, I didn't run any tests to know for sure, but I did notice a difference. This screw seems to perform better upright than at angle. Everything in this project turned out so well. Oh, I even forget to mention this pump doesn't leak. Damn, two times row. I'm completely pleased with how this pump turned out. I think this is one of my designs that actually works how it should and does what it's supposed to and you can rely on it. So I cannot be more happy with the results. That's why I am planning to do it again and I will upgrade it to different variations like I did three years ago. If you don't wanna miss this make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you don't mind leave a like for YouTube algorithm. But for now thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.